my daughter's texting me telling me she loves me. <laughs> Y'all know which daughter that was. Hi, Big T. I lost. I lost Big T yesterday. I lost. I went to the casino. I went to the casino and I lost. <laughs> I lost. I need to give up. I'm just going to give up. What's the point anymore? What's the point of going and risking my life, my money, my sanity, my calories for drinks, my exhaustion? What's the point? Um, anyhow. Great, great, great. Good morning, Jeff Jones. How are you? My um, cartilage piercing is always infected. Hello, Puddin. I like that. <laughs> Concrete pump and you're calling me a pudding. At least it wasn't septic. Um, I don't want to, I just want to give up on life. <laughs> I'm so tired today. So, you know, of course, I drank more than my allotted two and two, right? Um, and so, and then, you know, get in, get home. My daughter calls me, Jennifer, and you know, when you... When Jennifer calls to chat, you chat because it's not very often. Um, oh, concrete pump. That's so sweet. <laughs> um, so anyhow, I, yeah. And so I was up to 11, which gave the alcohol time to subside in my system. Ate a little, ate a little bit. Oh, sorry, I had, I thought I had something. Um, and um, ate a little something. Hung out with Andrew as well when we were talking on the FaceTime. Well, we ended up calling, but anyhow. And then I go to bed, right? Hoping. Oh, Donna, that's okay. Hi, Hecka. And I was hoping that I was going to have just such a great sleep. But Dan didn't sleep last night. No. Insomnia, whatever else his problem was. So when he doesn't sleep, guess what that means? Danielle doesn't sleep. Up and down, talking to the dogs, making out with the dogs, eating in the room. I'm like, can you not eat in here? Like, I need to sleep. I gotta get up, I gotta run, I got a whole day schedule ahead of me. I got shit to do, I don't have time to be tired. I already drank too much, I need my sleep. Hockey girl, you're asking the wrong person for money. I just went to the casino. I don't have a few dollars to spare anymore because a few dollars that I had is left there. Um, the people coming on here asking for money. It's my show. I ask for money. Um, anyhow, hi, Michael Goodman. Heck of cool. It, right. But did you drink? Did you, were you in a room full of nicotine? Were you losing money? It's different. Four hours of sleep with no poison in your body. I love the casino too. <laughs> I love the casino. I'd like to say I'm never going back, but we all know. I'll be back. Um, anyhow, so um, the, uh, oh shit. Let's see, try to balance on one foot and not fall over. I did have fun. Um, I did have fun. Um, my friend from Folsom, Zelda, came down and we had fun together. We did. We've had Sue Todd. It's probably the best thing you've ever done is not going to a casino. You went this past weekend. How did you do? Yes, people ask me for money. Hi, Tammy. Maria loves Grandpa bigger. I don't understand. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, five minutes down the road, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, don't ask. Don't ask if I won. If I, I would tell you. You're right. I would tell you if I won. See this face? See, see, see this face, this look of solitude, destitute, and all out missing fun in what I can. See this face. Me either, Zara. Hi, Rhonda. No, I didn't do good. So, I have a little stomach problems um, this morning. That's why. Um, every two months. I know. Leo, and I think that's, um, I think that's a good thing, right? Maybe once a month, once every other month, um, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I'm gonna try not to gamble until I meet my friends in Tahoe um, in September. So I'm gonna try to go the, you know, 60 days, two months it is. I'm gonna try to. Uh, oh, I bet, Johnny. There's no point. I know, there's no point in life. Do they have a buffet? Um, not at this one, but they have like a food court. Um, and they have, um, they have a couple good restaurants in there. They have a steakhouse, which is really good. Um, and they have a dumpling house, I think. A dumpling something. Oh, you're coming back after Tahoe. Okay. Um, no, I'm not sick to my stomach from loss. I'm used to losing. So it's not about the loss. It's about too much alcohol. Um, yeah, that's what happens to me. It's like a, a IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, if you must know what that means. Um, chicken ranch did you good? Ugh. I would just like to do good one time in my life. Like come home. It's been a long time to come home and be like, <laughs> it was funny because I walked in last night at like eight o'clock and Dan's like, why are you smiling? <laughs> like hoping that I could say it one money. I was like, well, is it a lot of smile? Is it against a lot of smile? He's like, oh, I take it you didn't win. No. <laughs> no. In a month, Dolores, that's good. 31, that's it, Hecka? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm a little slow. I'm tired. That's funny. Uh, we all gambled with marriage, right? We all gambled with marriage. Uh, frustrating for me, yes. Um, I was going to go solo, and then um, my friend who lives up in Folsom was like, hey, can I come? I'm bored. I said, sure, why not? I have not. So she was my wingman. She got me drinks. She, you know, whatever. It was fun. Um, I was going to go. I was ready to go solo by myself. You know, I was ready to do it and make the, the, the trek. And then she was like, I'll come. I want to come. Um, the buffalo. Um, buffalo. Buffalo. Um, Dan won the lottery. Yeah. With me? Yes, he did. Um, oh, that's nice, Karen. Where's Chicken Ranch? Hi, Dee. How are you? Yeah. Well, my alcohol intake is about one or two, except when I go. Yeah. One or two a week. Yeah. Hell no. Um, I couldn't survive. James down. Okay. What's going on with Sue over here, Fred? That's so funny. I'm sorry, medication. You know what? I think a lot of times... I mix, I don't give a shit, because I typically... Can you not take the pee? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but I know the checks have been ordered. Um, they were ordered last Friday according to an email. Someone just called me a gold digger? Oh, that's funny. Who am I digging for gold for? Where's my gold? If I'm digging, where's my gold? Oh. No. Dan's going to start the car. Um, so you're going to have to give me a minute because it'll pop up my phone. Um, I have to take Andrew's pee in. Where is my gold? If I'm digging, and if I'm trying to dig for gold. I mean, I dig for gold all the time up here. The fuck? Why did it stop? But, um, yeah, so anyhow, where's my gold? Because I haven't found any yet. So if anybody has any idea where I find my gold, because it's weird. Um, uh, what happened over oh, here on YouTube? What's going on? Something's happened on this. People are weird. Yeah. My husband, my husband doesn't snore, but he just doesn't sleep. You're here for the kitty cats while they're running around somewhere. Bye, all Mary. Hello, Janet.
Good morning, Purple J. Um, you go the day? How long do I run? It depends on the day. I'm not tired of that. Um, so anyhow, it is Friday. What are you guys doing? What's going on? What's happening? What's going on? Dan, do you have time to take the pee? Eggs with Mark. What's shaking, Megan? About to hit the gym, good. The grandbabies. You mom vacation from grandpa, abs fucking lutely. Hello, Barbara, happy Friday. Yes, hi, Ivy. Oh, oh, Ivy, don't be too jealous. You don't want this menopausal um, lobby. Uh, uh, Miss Baby. Enough of blitz. Ah, uh, you're gonna drink some beers? Oh, I had beer yesterday. I think that's why my stomach's so upset. Because of the yeast. <laughs> yeah, they do, Debbie. But when you're here, how do get away all weekend? Ooh, hi, Slidey. You have a weekend away. Um, okay. TikTok, hold on a minute. We starting. I know. I know. Thank you. Hold on. We're not going to be able to hear me all day. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay. <laughs> when Dan leaves, you know what happens. Hey, Big City, what's going on? I am back. Tequila is good. I do have beers. I probably had four, one, two, one, two, maybe three beers last night. Um, and I had two drinks before I left home. So, I was feeling pretty good. Um, Mark has grandpa. He's not, he's going to work. He has um, a client at 10. Hi, Running Bear. Um, typically alcohol. Monica used to make my clothes fall off. Hi, in Jamaica. Um, today's a slow day. Oh, he's getting my bolt next. Um, and he's dropping off Andrew's urine. Um, we haven't done urine in like six weeks. It's about time. Okay, bye Zara. Have a good one. Hang in there, it's Friday girl. Um, hi Mark. So yeah, so we haven't done urine. We're pushing it a little bit, but that's okay. Um, the doctor left it up to us. Um, let's see if we want to do it monthly or every other month, or every couple months. So, Andrew, we just like to see and make sure he's on the up and up. Andrew has IG nephropathy, diagnosed about two years ago. Um, Taco, what's that mean? Um, so we have to just make sure his proteins and his urine and his function and his kidneys are doing okay, because sometimes with that disease, you have no idea when things are going bad until they are and you know so it's important to keep up on those things so you're staying ahead of any issues because staying ahead of it helps keep the kidneys as functional as possible so um so yeah that's why tahoe no i went to a casino last night um down the road was he born with it um so Bethany, it's really weird about IgA nephropathy is that it, it, I think you're born with it um, and it either rears its ugly head, sits dormant in your body until it's no longer. And it's a silent one most of the time. Luckily for us, um, uh, fun night on TikTok, oh, I hate those jelly beans. Ugh. Um, 
but it would be funny to fuck to prank Dan, right? Um, and put them in like a regular jelly bean thing, and then put them in there, because you know he likes um, sugar. So getting any of the rancid candies. The sun she was saying, get some of the bamboozled jelly beans. See, I can't get them, and he, he would know what they were, so I'd have to hide them, right? So that's an idea. I really want to start pranking me. I really do. Um, I think it would be funny content, honestly. So anyhow, Bethany, he um, ended up peeing blood two years ago. Um, so, like straight blood. Uh, so, that was our um, symptom. <laughs> uh, so, um, that was a horrible time because we didn't know his kidneys, you know, his numbers in his urine were um, kidney failure, right? So, but his blood work came back, it took a minute and showed that there was something else going on. So, you had a lot of cancer, you had to um, rule out lupus, um, gluten intolerance can also see the X disease can cause it, which would have been the best thing. Um, so, you didn't have um, of course, gluten intolerance. That would have been amazing and simple. Um, oh, yeah, I am going to talk in September. Uh, look at my children. Okay. Um, so, anywho, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We just have to monitor so viruses can bring it out, anything. Um, I believe what happened was in 20, what was it, 2020, January, before we knew COVID was here, he got super sick for 10 days. Never been sicker. 107 fever. Um, it was horrible. He didn't move for six days. Um, and then he got the shot. Yes, and we ain't getting in there. Um, and then he started being blood. So basically cause and effect. You know, his body recognized the shit that he had before, overreacted, and there you have it. So, not something you develop, something that you have. It's like um, chicken pox sits dormant, right? Once you have it, you develop shingles. Mono is the same way. So if you've ever had mono, it stays in your body and uh, can rear its ugly head all the time. So I had mono twice as a young child and as an adult and that sucked ass. So you know, you gotta love dormancy of viruses, right? Um so anywho, uh yeah. So every month we should be doing yeah, the mono sucks, especially as an adult. I remember oh you never Charlene? Oh my god. So I remember having chicken pox as a kid. Um, I had remember having mono as a kid too. Both times I was with my grandparents. Every time my mom um, sent me there for the summer, I was getting sick. It was so fun. almost like she knew, you know. Um, yes, stress can cause. I got shingles, right, from um, stress like five years ago. It was horrible. Hi, Barbara. How are you feeling today? Mono is horrible, especially as an adult. Mary, what's up? I remember getting it. Dan was working. My mom had just died. So I didn't even have my mom to take care of me. And I had a baby, you know, and I was just laying on my friend. I remember my friend Stephanie, and she was calling me. And I was just like, I just want my mom home. I still had to get up. I still had to, you know, take the kids up. Oh, it's horrible. Hi, Daniel. Thank you. Hi, Toronto. Madeline. Uh, I'm also going to be Jimmy Fox. I see my patients are Jimmy uh, Yeah. So I had it like five years ago. I don't know what the protocol is for me now to do it. Um, this is a pilot. I don't know. Anyhow. Coco's good. Um, we were discussing Andrew's illness um, and then how the dormant viruses that lay in our body 
and rear their ugly heads when we least expect it or are completely stressed out. Happy Friday. My friends are not on the couch. I wish they were still on the couch and I wish they were still here with me. Uh, oh, the booster? Yeah. Epstein Barr. Oh no. Epstein Barr and Fibro. You know, a lot more people brought one a day. We have five, a lot of people who suffer on both channels with fibro. Um, so it's it's met a lot of people with that on here on social media. Um, not only nothing for our anniversary. Um, Thursday is typically a no live night. It's Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for sure. Uh, yes, treadmill again. I'm hungover and tired, so it's going to be a little, um, actually not that hungover. I'm just more tired. So, um, because Dan didn't sleep. Oh gosh, I got to shut up and shoes. Well, especially for those of you who haven't had chicken pox, like how scary is that? Hi, Caroline. Um, Yeah, I have to lose these money you just went ahead this. What did I forget? Uh since I was 12 migraines. Ugh. Um, Fibro. You know, I have another friend on here that also does a channel on um her fibromyalgia journey as well. Um casino sucked as always, but I have fun. So is that what matters? I think so. Thank you, Annie. Who has made more patience? Was Dan's dad. Um, Jason, that's a question you can't answer. Because every minute, every day is so different with Ed and patience. Patience is a virtue. Um, so it's really hard because there are more times I have the most patience with Grandpa. Um, there are a lot of different people. Mark has the same frustrations. It's just different. Y'all gotta, oh hi Bobby. Um, Y'all gotta understand that there's no easy recipe and there's nobody that has more patience than the other when you're caregiving somebody with dementia. Sorry, but even parenting. It's like asking, well who is the most patient parent? Well I think that's also subjective given the day, the time, and so on and so forth. Oh, thank you, Lou. Yeah, so what a day over here at Fibro. So that she finally had to go to the Mayo Clinic to get diagnosed to figure out what the hell was going on. Uh, yeah, uh, Matt, Dan has a hard time sleeping in general. But when you add extra things for him like nicotine, and stuff like that, it makes it worse. So he's on this nicotine thing right now. So it just catches up with him and it makes his sleeping that much worse. But I had a little experiment today. Um, yeah, you might like this better, Joan, AKA Bobby. It's less crazy. Um, you were diagnosed at 20. Um, hi, Lily. I'm dragging ass. I'm tired. Went to the casino, drank too much alcohol, and Dan didn't sleep, which means I didn't. You've been running for a while, but you're still in the same spot. Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. <laughs> Hi, Chadwick. Is the gym coming, going, or are you doing it? Oh, Ducky. Ducky says, oh no, you aren't seen in family, are you? Doesn't fucking matter, Ducky. That shouldn't matter. We did this yesterday. Do I really have to go over? the news stations. We watch them all, Ducky, if that makes you feel any better. Because smart people, people who are willing to evolve and not be one-sided on any subject, watches all the channels. And they're all full of shit. So that's for sure. And if you're relying on your news sources, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, etc., <laughs> you're not doing yourself any justice because the only way you learn and know true facts is reading.
So, um, you do you, Ducky. You do you. You want to live in a tiny box. And believe that, that's on you, not on me. Happy Friday, Sarah. What is going on? It's Friday in India. It's Friday in the good old U.S. of A. Um, bruh, right? And that's the thing, is people want to sit. And I think that video got more views because of the TV. You know, jokes on everybody else. What if I, what if I put that on just for views? Just to rile people up? Just to poke the bear? What if I did that? What if I was a smart one? What if I was that smart one? And I'm really jokes on all people who are worried about my TV choice. Uh, um, yeah, the real news cannot be found on any network. Joke's on you, if you believe that. And if you are just stuck on one side because the people are telling you what to believe, well then, that says a lot about you. Now, if you're a good person, you're a smart one, you will do due dil dil diligence on your own and realize the only truth comes from within. The only truth comes from reading. The only truth comes from doing your own investigation. And people who just stick to what they hear on a news station and don't do their due diligence, well guess what? That's a pretty closed-minded person like me. So I feel sorry for you. Oh, oh, ducky. Go watch some news. Believe it. Live it. Love it. Oh. Yes, and I believe, Leo, that, you know, it's all shit, right? It's all shit. You gotta figure it out on your own. So, anyway. Girl, don't we know it? The people who want to bury their head in the sand. I don't do well with people like that. I don't do good well with people who are completely one-sided. I don't do well with people not being able to do their own research. I don't do well with people who want to close their eyes in this crazy world we live in. I don't do well with people who like to listen and believe the lies that come out of people's mouths. Because they're all full of shit, right? They're all full of shit. CNN, Fox News, CNBC, MSNBC, right? Um, what's cooking, chicken? Hi, Roland. What's happening? Yes, funny me, I blocked the closed-eyed individual. I like to pew pew and airbrush my Mac. Ma Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, they all do bad. You know, again, there are certain sources you read, right? There are certain sources, you know, you, you got to do your own research. If you question it, you got to look, right? There is the truth out there somewhere in between, right? Hi, Warrior. Haven't seen you around in a little bit. How you doing? Okay, I don't know what message you're asking. Um, he's gone. Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, uh, I blocked the closed-minded person. Uh, the case you know, I did not win, Jennifer. I would tell you if I did. Uh, I do like NPR. I love it. I love the conversations and the segments they have on NPR. My fans, thank you, hope you're doing well. I am running in place, yes. I don't think CNN lies. I think they all do. I think they all, that's what news is for. Uh, that's okay, good. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> I try educating the poorly educated. <laughs> Um, the weather's hot. It's hot. It's like 104. I, it wasn't, it was supposed to be 104 yesterday.
yesterday. We got we guys here didn't get up to 104. Hi Virginia. You can. I wish I can give you guys the 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 exercise too. And here makes you think. Yes. This is not Colorado. Um. I knew what you meant. No, this is California. Um, am I a teacher? Some might say that. I'm a teacher of my truth. Only my truth in my experience. Yes, and that's why, in order to figure it out yourself, you have to hear it. It should spark your mind going, hmm, I wonder, and then do the research. Uh, who is your favorite? Comedians? I don't really watch comedians. Caroline. I, we, I love Kevin Hart. I love Tiffany Haddish. Um, thank you, Fibro. Um, I love anybody fucking funny. But those pop, those two pop up just on the top of my head. I like Melissa McCarthy. I think she's funny as hell. Her husband, Ben Falcone. Um, I think he's great. Uh, yep, I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm really not. Or a toker. Um, so, all those are my people. They make me giggle. Tiffany Haddish especially. She cracks me the hell up. Uh, Margaret, how long? Every day is different. I typically do a jog and run now these days. Oh, all right, okay. I'm a midnight hooker. You are, I'm not. Um, I was a nicotine hooker last night at Sky River. Um, yes, so we were supposed to be I'm 104 yesterday. I think my location only got to be 100. So today feels warmer already at this time than it did yesterday. So buckle up, buttercups. It's gonna be a hot one. Um, oh, thank you, Mark, you're sweet. Kevin, I don't think he's the best human, but he is funny, right? <laughs> he was funny. Um, Ed's probably had um, memory issues for the last 12, 13 years, right? We've had them now going on three years. Um, so, yeah, anyhow, um, hi, Beth, I'm happy, happy. So, your air already clicks on. Mine's not there yet. I turned on my whole house fan this morning, so it dropped the attic air quicker. So, mine will be on soon. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> So I'm almost at two miles, I'm gonna walk a little bit because my body is struggling today. I am insane, it's hot in here. Um, so, anywho, uh, that is interesting. That is, is not hitting the triple digits because typically they do when we do. It's cold in England, oh, send some our way. Send some our way. Um, we're like doing this with the heat. I have to still say, um, overall, we have had a mild summer, so I cannot totally complain, uh, but it is shocking when we get the heat, we're like, oh, I'm dying. Uh, no, we're not in Texas, thank the Lord, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, whoever's up there, because... Oh, even 80s is hot in the Bay Area. Um, but 70s, I like, uh, oh, what, 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 Rebel Wilson, I think she's funny too. Yeah, you guys in Texas and Arizona, um, in Arizona, Arizona, y'all, give it out to Arizona. Um, yeah, uh, you two, I mean, Arizona has not, like their 20th consecutive day of like over 115. Y'all, our friend LB is in Arizona and she said yesterday like at eight something in the morning, it was 88 degrees already. 88 degrees. They literally went to Costco early afternoon and ran their food in because that's how quickly it spoils. Hail to the nut. Uh-uh. The wildlife, the dogs. Our, one of our sweet friends um, took in a dog yesterday 
um, in the armpit of California, Fresno, one of the armpits. And um, that poor doggy was dehydrated, um, hungry, poor baby. Abandonment of animals, y'all, kills me. Kills me. And this poor little baby was left all alone in this heat in Fresno. So my friend, um, my friend, um, husband, it was at his work and he fed him and brought him home. He texted his wife and, and said, what do you think? And she's like, bring that poor baby home. Oh, it's the cutest thing. So I was watching her this morning. She was so happy. She's so happy. Oh, it breaks my heart. That's another thing, right? We were talking yesterday um, about, hi, monster, about like the look. The, the king can give you lower than a pedophile, right? Um, pedophile, molester of children. I also hate the people who abandon their animals. I hate the people who abandon their animals. Oh, uh, Yes, make me sick. I think that's another, um, I, I think we need to add them to the courtyard of death and torture. Um, is somebody like that. I can't handle that. Um, I think it's despicable, it's disgusting, and it's appalling. Um, literally, I think we should stone them as well and cut off their heads. Off with their heads. Um, any rescue will come with the normal. Um, and uh, it just makes me so sad. You know, did I tell you, um, uh, and the dog is still here. Of course, Michelle, we take all of our children's animals. Um, so I, yeah, I put them <laughs> with pedophilia. Um, pedophilia number one, but animal abandoners number two on my list. Um, I don't know how people can do it. It literally breaks my heart, breaks my soul for these animals. I can't even watch the stupid commercials, you know, for five cents a day. You can save, you know. I cry every time. Hi, BJ. I cry every time I see that gosh darn commercial. Right? I'm like, I can't. I see that. Damn it. It makes me sick. Sick. Hi, Cece. Is it Cece? Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was CG. My eyes are going down. Um, oh, shit. Shut up, I believe. A dog in a car for two days? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, I can't. Anybody, anybody. Now, I love animals, right? I will not, right, take them in, because I've already got enough. But if I could, I would. If I could, I would. I can't be around animals. I can't be around them because I would want them all. Uh, I only got decapitated by a robot. Oh, decapitated by a robot? I need to see that. You know, if one thing you have to, I do, I have to change the channel too. Dan starts yelling. Um, so, Dan starts yelling. God damn it, what the fuck are they doing with that shit? <laughs> um, anyhow, so, it's horrible. And those sad eyes, and the red one, and the this one. Well, a rabid raccoon, I probably wouldn't mind um, running over because they hurt our babies. Uh, I will bust the window. Yes. I will bust the window. I would too, fat boy. I would bust the window open for the dog or the child and then beat the ever-loving man out of the car. Is that a problem? <laughs> Is that a problem? Not only will I break the window, but I will bash your MF and car in for being like that. I mean, who are people thinking? And the run-in. I don't know. Who would microwave a cat? Lord have mercy. No longer the death penalty carries the lethal injection. Really? It's a robot? Shit. Can you imagine being the injector? You know, of the death penalty? I, what do you do for them? I kill criminals, pedophiles, rapists, robbers. Um, they decapitate? They really do decapitate? Uh, <laughs> Linda, Dan, if Dan wasn't afraid of me, low-key, um, afraid of me, 
I think we would have more animals than we already do. Uh, I don't believe that one for kids in the hot car. Oh my God, that breaks my heart. Oh my God, good morning. Hi, Deborah. Ah, uh, you too. Are you with your babies this weekend? <laughs> I will wholeheartedly inject any animal abuser, any animal abandoner, and any pedophile. Any abuser with the hands, touch, voice, I will do it all. Inject. What do you do? <laughs> I'm an injector. Everybody deserving of being injected. Um, I would have no PTSD. I would just hands down enjoy every minute of it. But I'm kind of evil in the sense that, like I said yesterday, um, I could hit my gut in the park one. Oh shit, really? He hit you, Caroline? Oh my God, Caroline got hit in the, in the park when he intervened, she intervened to defend the guy's dog against him. And he hit her because she intervened. Um, I would have fucking kicked him in the nuts and gouged his fucking eyes out and called the cops. I hope he did. Well, at least called the cops. Uh, oh, good. So you're spending time with babies. And yeah, they're still babies, right? They're still babies. I don't care how old they are. They will still be my babies. Um, I, I'm with kind of the slow torture. I don't want to give anyone a fast exit. That is any of those people, right? I want them to be tortured like they have tortured other people. Um, I want them to feel the pain. I want them to understand it. I want them to beg for mercy. And I want them to cry and shat on themselves and piss all over themselves. And I want them to feel humiliated for all the years of suffering they have done to my friends, to my family, and all the animals out there. Is that wrong? Um, <laughs> yeah. I want to see everybody who's inflicted my hurt. You know, I, um, <laughs> good looking. I'm like, oh, God, shit. Are people going to, like, think, oh, abort this crazy woman? Um, but you know if you know. And that makes me, you know, Roland's like, sexy. <laughs> You're sexy and you know it. No. Oh, God, I can't. Fur babies especially. Like, it's hot enough. They are hot. They have fur. Um, oh, I knew there was going to be somebody. John said my fur and I is not the answer. Well, to me it is. Um, it doesn't have to. I'm not everybody's going to agree with me. John, so far, you are the only person that doesn't agree with me. And that's okay. Um, but in cases like that, with the scumbags of the earth, I love my for an eye. Because that's what they deserve. That's what they deserve. Sorry, not sorry. Um, anybody who touches a kid, I'm not even talking about fur babies. Anybody who touches an innocent child that doesn't know any better and can't protect themselves and constantly takes them from them. Their pure innocence fucks with their head. Are you kidding me? Yeah, eye for an eye, motherfucker. Eye for an eye. Because they're the ones that have to deal with the trauma, the turmoil, and the struggle and pain their whole lives. And some of them don't come up from underwater because of that. A quick death for them is not good enough. That's the easy way out. Hell no. Hell no. And you know, here's the thing. I touched a chord with a lot of people on here yesterday speaking about um, their trauma. Their abuse, physical, sexual. Some of them have done a good job in trying to remain 
healthy mentally. Trying to rise above it and take back that power. The shit people do to children. I had a, I had somebody come on and tell me that her sick, deranged father killed, made his children watch, killed their mother and then turned the gun on himself and made his three young children watch that. Life for him was way too easy to turn that gun on his head. Way too easy. Killed their mother. Killed their mother. Bruh, you're fucked up, kill your fucking self. But don't take away the only thing and the only greatness they had in their lives. How fucking disgusting is that? Your father killed all of your pets and made you watch? Holy fuck. What the fuck? I know. There are a lot of people out there. So I just got pissed off because somebody didn't agree with me and just said, you know, an eye for an eye is not an answer. It might not be in some of your all's religion and all that shit, but to me, it is. And I respect you for having your opinion, but the stories that were told to me yesterday, the stories that people shared with me, the stories evoked just another level of hate, repulsiveness, and how sick people can be. I have no tolerance for that. None. And I, for my, make them fucking suffer. I hope I can get to them. <laughs> but it pains me that people that I've connected with on here, pains me that people who trust me, pains me that these people who are now my friends have had these horrible experiences. I don't like that. I don't like that. Ugh, with a hammer? Fuck. Yeah, I will, <laughs> I will kill a bitch. Or a girl. Whatever it is, if anybody ever touches my kids. If I have to spend the rest of my life in jail to protect my children, my family, I would do that. Ugh, yeah, I think, I think an eye for an eye sounds really good to me. Um, and that's okay. I know it's pretty intense for a lot of people. Especially if you're religious and all that stuff. And I don't want to take that away from you, but for me, it's one of the most despicable things on the planet. And I would like to take a hit, or a jab, or a punch, or a fucking knock in the balls for anybody. Who does that? Take anybody. I don't fucking care. A kid. I'll take my shot. I'll be one of the first people front and center. I'm an empath. And my heart goes out to kids. And that's why I'd be the first advocate. Uh-uh. Kids. Kids! Babies! They don't know any better. They trust these people. What the fuck? Ugh. Well, and what's sad is that some of these kids, right, have committed suicide. They can't deal with the pain. Oh my God. No, he did not. Oh my God. Uh, the, holy shit. Um, my mom shot herself, Colby said, and a few months later, a few days later, her dad made her clean up the blood. Ugh. Like that was your fault. Wow. I did go to the casino last night. Nothing exciting to report, other than a hint. Um, I recently reported a woman who's been sex trafficking her disabled daughter since she was a child. 
The daughter is 36? What the fuck? What is wrong with people? How do we have so many sociopaths, psychopaths, disturbed people? Well, because it was done to them too. So you either break the cycle, right? And live and become um, stronger for it, or you fall victim to it. We were already victim once, you know, and sometimes they kill themselves, right? Sad. Ugh, my language is fucking appalling. Well, fucking call me a chicken and slap my ass. You don't fucking like my language. You can see your fucking way out. It's simple. <laughs> Let me get this one. <laughs> the human trafficking. Um, how I've been a victim, I think I was. Evan, I shared it yesterday. I don't know for sure. Um, but I had this weird dream. I had this. What are we doing now? With a lot of therapy and coping skills. Deborah, 100%. That's how you get through. I had a weird dream a couple years back of a man. Um, who, I was like three or four, um, and I remember the picture, and I have it somewhere in my mom's photos. Um, we, remember when I said, um, we have, uh, she took me from Nashville and drove across country to stay with my uncle in L.A., and it was one of his roommates or friends or something like that, but I had a weird dream of him touching me in my room, on my bed. I woke up in a panic, and I couldn't see his face, but it's funny because that picture is ingrained in my head. So something's telling me something inappropriate happened. And I can't, I can't confirm or confirm because my uncle's not around anymore, and my mom's not around. So, um, I believe I was, because based on some of my actions as a young child, um, I did things, and I know I didn't learn them by myself, you know what I mean? So the confirmation um, kind of tells me um, that, yeah, I was. I don't think it was something that was, you know, a long time because he wasn't there for a long time. Um, so, oh no, I know Jackie, it's gone. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it now, right? Um, there's nothing I can do about it now. And Colby, I'm so mortified about that. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everybody that has had to deal with shit. Because that's tough shit. It's tough shit to deal with. And those are things that you can't fucking get out of your brain. Ever. Um, it was a friend of my uncle's, or a roommate, I don't really remember. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, to me it's not that important, because I don't think it was, it was traumatizing enough to where, you know, I was more touchy as a young child. I remember an incident um, with a young child next door, and, and like touching him, right? And I remember, and I think I remember that. And I, how, how do I learn that at four or three, you know? Unless it was done to me. Um, so, um, I remember that. So, I, I do believe that something um, happened, right? Something happened. Um, it doesn't believe, because I remember, at three years old, I remember playing with this little boy next door. And I remember, you know, like you play doctor. Yeah, but it was different, funny me. It wasn't like the older um, doctor that I played at seven and eight. At three, what the fuck? You don't know, right? You don't know. How do I know? Unless I was done it to. 
And that's why it, rem it reminds me. I played doctor at 78. Put it in your hands. That's fine. Well, show me yours first. <laughs> but, yes, Caroline, because you know, pedophiles don't do well. Anything having to do with children in jail doesn't do well, right? It does not do well. So, whoever is getting their shit, they're getting their beating, most likely they're being taken advantage of in ways that we don't even want to think about. So, I um, no, I don't take any energy supplements. I take vitamins, and that's it. Hi, Juniper, Rosemary, and Deb. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, huh? Um, let me, um, and I know EMDR we talked about a little bit yesterday. Um, uh, you know, his great therapy for that shit too. Yeah, I just hope, James, you know, not everybody believes, right, in religious stuff. So, and I want the karma to happen now. I want it to be present before the act. And whatever happens in the afterlife, then that happens. But I want the pain to be evoked here on Earth. Um, yeah, drop them off. Let them forage for food. <laughs> I want the pain to be there before they leave. I want them praying for the afterlife. I want them praying to be able to leave the Earth. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Heather, I, I can't imagine, especially if it's your bio dad. What the fuck, right? Um, nobody should ever have to deal with that. And you guys yeah, reincarnated as a bug. And one of the bugs that we don't like, like an ant, well, I will just poison it or fucking step on it. Um, the games, we've all played those games as children, right? Can I see? Pull down your pants. And I remember speaking of just a little funny story since we're on the <laughs> since the, we're on the subject of the inappropriate games we played as young kids um i remember uh no one has a much better prison system offenders aren't caged and victimized by other inmates oh no but see i want inmates to be caged and victimized by other inmates i want that to happen they deserve that to happen um, so I remember, I was older, right? Um, I was older, and um, I mean we're sexual humans, right? I mean we're we're we're, we're that's what we, um, but we <laughs> curiosity killed the cat, right? Um, the script just got out of prison after 20 years when we did to me and already freaking on me. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Isn't that like a violation of parole? Come on, Danielle. There has to be some sort of violation that you can call upon that, ugh, that breaks my heart. And you guys, I, I you know, I, I guess I like to bury my head in the sand, right? I mean, don't we all? Because we don't want to think, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> they need to be victimized. Sorry. Um, um, I, you know, we're, 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 we're sexual by nature, right? And curiosity is very, some of us express it a little bit more, right, than others when we're growing up. And some of us get it more when we're older than we did when we get younger. You know, it's all over the place. But I remember we were living in an apartment complex, and I probably must have been like six-ish, seven, because I was a latchkey kid. Um, yeah, Bob. I have Big T. Big T, a friend of mine up here, is a, he's in a motorcycle club. And he's told me, um, oh, yay, Needle. I was just talking about you. Um, not your handle name, but your, the experience. Um, and we we're just talking about the same shit we were talking about yesterday. Um, we got on the subject of animal, um, abandoners and then it brought up, you know, anyway. Um, so, we had this haunted house, right? Well, it was an abandoned house, 
house, right? It was an abandoned house. And we thought it was haunted. So we would go hang out there. And, um, you know, what, you know, we always like show and tell. Like, sh I'll show you mine if you show me yours type of thing. So I just remember, I don't know what happened, but I just remember this boy, and I don't even think, I think he just pulled down his pants. Um, because I don't remember the game. Like, I remember the show and tell doctor shit behind, on the apartment complex in the bushes, you know, where you have, like, everybody goes in and they're like, okay. <laughs> like, anyway. Um, uh, John, I don't know, there was a lot to take in for short, such a short amount of time. That's stupid. <laughs> they need to rock. Right. Hi, Pepper. Um, anyhow. I don't remember how his pants ended up getting down, but he was the same age, and it was uncircumcised. <laughs> I was like, John, hold on, I'm tired, I'm hungover, not really, but you know, and I can't get all that. That was that was a mind fuck. Um, but I think I kind of get what you're getting at. I don't know, not well enough to repeat it and sound intelligent. Anyhow, he was uncircumcised, and I remember looking at it and screaming and ran. Poor kid. I probably gave him some sort of trauma at seven. So if for some reason this story sounds familiar um, and it was you, I apologize. I didn't know any better. It just looked different and scared me. Oh God. Hi the real, I'm doing good. Anthony it never stops you're telling me I'm the one on it. Um so that was just a funny haha. -ha. Uh, uh, I'm a woman, I'm an overcomer. Yes, Deborah. Yes, you are not that child. As I said the other day, it wasn't even like a turtle head. Turtle heads are circumcised. The other thing, Beth, I don't think I would do well. And, uh, and for those of you, bye, Hekka, enjoy the cool weather. <laughs> Roger, shit! <laughs> I believe he was Mexican. Are you Mexican? Um, I, I remember him being darker, complected. Um, but I think he was. It was a, I lived in a very high populated Hispanic area. Um, I just, I think, and I'm so sorry if you're not uncircumcised, um, and I'm talking shit, um, I'm nearly 50 and I remember being a baby doctor. Oh shit, Heather. Isn't that weird how our brain remembers shit like that? Our brains are so crazy. Um, anyhow, I bet think I would do the same thing. I think I would do the same thing. I think even they're called anteaters. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I, I think I would do the same thing. Um, I like a, a, a clean, I like, I like the turtle head showing. Just a preference. Um, you know, there's people who really like the extra um, love. Um, um, yeah, I, I think it just, um, you know, I, I just like, I like a fresh trim, you know. Um, I like a fresh trim. Um, I like, you know, a man freshly shaven, you know, or coiffed. Um, and I like him freshly coiffed facially as well as down below um, with his um, Willis, let's just call it. Um, however, um, there are people for religious reasons or just for other reasons that their parents have made that choice for them. And that's fine. Um, it's fine. But we were just talking about it, so it scared me, so I ran. Um, <laughs> uh, I have the, t yeah, the tip of the day. I forgot it. Uh, I did. I have to remember to bring it out. Um, well, nobody's talking about female circumcision. Shit. Easy. <laughs> I was just talking about the easy male snip. <laughs> um, you know, like a uh, anywho, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> it was 
left part of your question. And are you circumcised? <laughs> what if you said yes and then you had experienced that? And that was the tip of the day. <laughs> I was about a man skipping before it was a thing. No, heck, it's always been a thing. Um, it's always been a thing. It's like a turtleneck, you know? Nobody wants an extra turtle, extra neck, like mine, you know? It's like the foreskin, it's coming back. Pretty soon I'm gonna have an uh, uncircumcised penis because it's going, my neck is going to roll up. Um, I know a lot of people like it's more pleasurable for a man, and I just said that, like if you are not, I apologize, my preference. Like some people, <laughs> Some, yes, my neck is turning into foreskin. We've t discussed this for those of you that are new. Bye, Fibro. Have a great day. Love you. Stay safe and healthy. Um, and so I've just said this is going to be like a my foreskin. So eventually I'm going to be able to take my neck and my hanging jowls and hide my face, right? When I want to go incognito, you know, when I get really famous, um, I can just roll up my neck, you know, kind of like a, you know, foreskin. <laughs> I need all the extra neck. <laughs> I need, well, hecka, you need to yell at your parents for that decision then. <laughs> uh, I guess that's my Amber. This channel really took a left turn. If you think Grail 4, this just recently took a left turn, you haven't been here enough. This channel has taken a left turn years ago. Um, actually, a year ago. Um, so this channel is my morning channel. Um, and it is about me, my crazy, my humor, and all else. You don't like it? Well, you are free to leave. Left turn, right turn, uh, U turn, whichever. Um, but I don't really think that. Um, bye, Pekka. You need that extra protection today in your cold San Francisco. So <laughs> roll your roll your neck up. <laughs> so sad. I know it's so sad. You know what's sad is that you have no humor. What's sad is that you can't enjoy life. What's sad is you're here telling me I'm sad. That's what's sad. Thank you, Christine, because, you know, we got to protect me. Um, <laughs> Lighten up, buttercup. <laughs> Fiverr will be on tonight if you're bored. Um, she gone. She needed to get gone. Fucking miserable people. I don't like miserable people on my channels. You know, learn to have fun or get the fuck out. Very simple. Bye, Hecka. Look, Hecka's still here. He just is afraid. He's got one foot out the door and one toe in, just in case he misses anything else. Fun. You can just leave your foreskin in the room and you can leave. <laughs> just kidding. Um, anyhow. Um, I like to have fun. This isn't just about grandpa, as many of you know. This is about me. This is my time. This is about my humor. This is about the things I like to have fun with. <laughs> See, look, he's still here. What did I say? Foreskin and all. Um, <laughs> I like to do this. I think it's fun. I don't know why people get so... Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's how I get through life. That's how I get through this hangover and no sleep. <laughs> this is how I cope. Give me a minute, I'm thirsty. Um, so I just, I, it just, it's just every, every day I still get blown away by the ignorance of people and the and their uncanny ways of saying um, I'm the problem. Um, it's me. Without taking a good look at themselves, I think it's their problem by not being able to laugh and have a good time. That's just a boring way to live life. And yes, it is not a truly, this is not a seltzer of alcohol of anything. It's a lacroix. It's a lacroix. I feel like, and this limoncello is my favorite. Um, and I feel like some bubbly. Um, Dan is not behind the tree. He's at work. <laughs> Can you pray for me in the broad Bible study? He's still here. Foreskin and all. He didn't just leave the foreskin. It's his whole person. I couldn't imagine one without a foreskin. But I'm bump. <laughs> Tip of the day. Uh, um, I have to burp because my stomach. Um, that didn't sound. <laughs> Hecka, I love Hecka Beth. Hecka has been around for a long time and then he disappeared and we thought he was murdered. We thought somebody took him. We thought he was chained to the. 
half, kind of his wife, I thought. We didn't know what happened to him. He just left us. He was like, he graced us with his presence every morning and we enjoyed him. And then he just like left. Like, WTF, where did Hecka go? People were sending search parties out for this guy because we loved him so much. He plays, he has fun. He sends me naughty stuff. Uh, well, not, you know, TikToks and shit, you know, to match my humor. Who doesn't like that? And then all of a sudden he just leaped, he left. So I had one person, you know, set, he bailed. He just poofed, be gone. And I had people sending out search parties. My friend Zelda was like, where's Hecka? I want Hecka. Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Hecka, Hecka. I mean, I think one day I was keckling for him. Heckling for him, get it? Heck it, cool. Anyhow, and he couldn't hear me in San Francisco. So I thought for sure he was in deep under cover. As something happened, gone. I said, you can never leave us like that again. When we form a friendship and then poof, you're gone. You don't know. And then he just made a, a sneak appearance the other day and I was like, heck up, is that you? He said, hey, <laughs> I was here. I was in the cover. I had uh, to lay low for a year. <laughs> Ooh, I stink. It is hot. Hi, Adam. I appreciate you in Israel. Um, we love everybody back. Uh, he just got out of jail. Yeah. Did you? Were you in trouble? Heck, you can tell me. Just message me. He's got a wife. He makes his wife work. Uh, he's retired, so he just goes and walks around San Francisco and drinks coffee all day. Um, you're drink eating. Oh, you're drinking lunch with. Are you drinking or are you eating? Um, good morning, Ashley. How are you? I work out every day. Um, oh, I hate ingrown toenails. Come to my lady. She gets them out really good. Um, anyhow, um, yes. So you know, it's really sad to us. You know, when you have your group of people, right, and you have these people that are part of your lives for so many mornings, you know, throughout months and months, and right, we know this. He's off of parole. Hecka just got out of jail. Um, Hecka, I don't think so. I liked Hecka was cool. Um, anyhow, so I'm glad he's back. So I, everybody's like, "Did you see Hecka? Hecka's back." Uh, 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 we found Hecka. We found him. Um, finally found him. He made his appearance. Hecka's at Mark's. <laughs> Hecka, were you at Mark's this whole time? Uh, we had hail, Elizabeth. Ugh, it's 7 p.m. Hi, Galaxy. Where have you been? Galaxy Fighter. I have a chip implanted. I, I can have a chicken plant. Chick. A <laughs> chip. Um, I like chips. What kind of chips um, can we implant in you? Um, I like Doritos, extra cheesy nacho. Um, um, I, I, I do, I like, I like Doritos. If any chip I'm going to implant, it's going, you were, you were under the basement, you were underground at Mark's, he held you hostage. Well, I think Mark was jealous of you, Hecka, because you got a lot of attention from everybody. Shalom, Heather, how are you? Any chip, any chip, Cool Ranch. Ah, you like Cool Ranch? Um, no, we, we're not doing the micro. We don't like anything micro, Mike Goodman. Micro mini, uh-uh, don't like that. Um, micro, uh-uh. Anything with micro, micro is, <laughs> heck go. Uh, I like chips. So if you could be any chip, speaking of chips, if you could be any chip, what flavor would you be? What kind of chip would you be? Not micro. Nobody wants a micro chip. Um, all chips that come with cake. Oh, all chips, even all flavor chips. Ugh, bruh. You're welcome, Kirsten. Duchess dill pickle. What's that? Chili cheese fry Fritos. Those are good. Funyuns. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Are you trying to be funny? Or do you like funyuns? Barbecue, salt and vinegar, ketchup. Never had. A ketchup, a chocolate chip. <laughs> That's funny. Sour cream, barbecue, flaming hot, <laughs> lime. Never had a lime potato chip. Um, nobody says Doritos, Munchos. The the mixture of the pretzels, the Doritos, the I like those. Oh, onion dip. Yep. My child will fight you for the Cheeto poison. <laughs> Dill. <laughs> I try. I try, Kirsten. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Dill pickle chips. I have to try. I have to try the dill pickle. I do like, I used, 
and Jennifer used to love the jalapeno kettle chips are fucking good. Um, I've never had a dill pickle chip. What flavor? No, Cool Ranch is the suckiest flavor Dorito makes. Dill pickle Doritos with sour cream. Dill pickle Doritos? I'm still, what? Lay's Plain are really good. Dill pickle, anything, How, um, chili cheese. Uh, have you had, yes, I've had the dill, oh yeah, okay, I lied. Thanks, Christine. Um, I did have the dill pickle uh, chips from Trader Joe's and those were the bomb.com. The bomb.com. So if you have any sort, Lay's dill pickle, shit, I might have to get some. I'm from Mango, we have cheese and onion. Cheese and onion? What? Le okay, which one? What? <laughs> Please, Tara. I like the Lay's plain, uh, plain with chocolate. <laughs> Marshmallow flavored chips? Shut the front door. Uh, the munchos are good. I do like those. Uh, Pringles? Dan loves Pringles. All right, okay, so I'm gonna tell you a secret. If you have Trader Joe's, Oh shit, you free choice. It sounds like me, okay? Um, a Dutch dill pickle. Dutch dill pickle. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. Barbecue. Okay, barbecue is always good. Barbecue is always good. Barbecue is always good. Lay's, gotta love them. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't turn down. I uh, just ate Fritos, chili, and cheese. Have you had the ones plain oots? Really? I don't know what a oots is. Um, I don't know what the English chips are like. Okay, a little side of chocolate bar with a plain lace. <laughs> Girl, you're taking a bite of each. Lay, bite of chocolate. <laughs> Lay, bite of chocolate. That is funny. Nobody mentioned sweet chili either, John. But how about this? Oh, hold on, let me tell you. I love Dot's Honey Mustard. They're my favorite book. Um, but we're, we're, we said chips, not pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheating um, okay okay if you got a Trader Joe's you must go uh, Trader Joe's yeah the potato oh God, and I've had those um, you must go and get the dill pickle chips okay um, no it was out like a couple months back I know Tony's Bennett died RIP Trader Joe's get the oh, Annette that's boring flaxseed and salsa yes they're good but not like I'm trying to tell you bye Beth so I totally have ADD it's brought to you by menopause um, okay so those of you who don't have Trader Joe's just don't listen for a minute um, dill pickle chips with their onion dip their onion dip best orgasm you will ever have all dress chips from Canada are my favorite anybody wanting an orgasm um, without the actual penetration. It, oh yeah, caramelized onion dip, sorry. Um, and if you want it just from food, you must get the, um, <laughs> you must get the dill pickle chips from Trader Joe's with their caramelized onion dip. Uh-huh, it's in about a container of yay big um, with a reddish black top and it says caramelized onion dip. Uh-huh, orgasm, literally in your pants right away. Women, you'll get panty pudding. Um, men, I guess that will be an explosion. Um, but yes, I know, but that's not the same. It's not the same. Sorry, Gamo. I'm sorry. I offended somebody. Did I? Um, <laughs> so if you want, if you want, if you want that, <laughs> I haven't gotten in a long time, Roland, because I'm trying to be good. Um, and so um, my, uh, it's been a long time since I've had that effect. Bacon or horseradish dip. <laughs> Panty pudding. Um, no, that's not a spoof, Caroline. Um, I, I'm telling you that's not a spoof. That's real life. Um, remember, let's remember that. Panty pudding um, is just an... Yeah, we learned it on here. Um, <laughs> Panty pudding is... Um, okay, get those chips and the caramelized onion dip. And... Um, uh, <laughs> Oh, Tiana, I'm good. Um, I haven't had, no, because there's different types of orgasms. Can you say orgasm on here? I don't know. Um, there's different types of orgasms that a woman can have. Is there, <laughs> clean up on aisle 12, slippery when wet. <laughs> alert, alert. Uh, slippery when wet. Um, 
Okay. Uh, uh, different O's. Like, do men have, um, do men, <laughs> yeah, men go by, um, the, go by, go by Trader Joe's dill pickle chips with the caramelized onion dip, um, and get your woman hot and heavy and ready. Uh, I mean, she may not need you, but maybe you'll like to watch it. I don't know. Um, or maybe she'll be primed. <laughs> Salted caramel milk chocolate. Yes. Um, Trader Joe's dill pickle chips with the, their caramelized onion. Um, <laughs> shoot it off. Um, the, uh, <laughs> so if anybody likes excitement like that by a taste, a savory taste in your mouth, um, then that would be, that would be the one to get. Hold on. I got to take care of somebody here. If I can figure it out. Uh, hide user. Um, sorry, y'all. User will be hidden. Um, we don't want. Hi, Navajo. I played the Buffalo last night. So I do have, um, a couple, everybody will benefit yourself. Prime. Oh, uh, hold on really quick. Navajo, I'll get back to me. Um, so if you, do men have different types of O's or do they, cause I know women has different types of O's, right? There's not, there's some that are internal, some that are external and some that are just given by food, different intensities. Um, I do, I have letters. So everybody who sends me a letter or a card or something, I'm trying to put these up. So men do have the same, they have different types. <laughs> they want some rules. Well, let me tell you, this one isn't fake, <laughs> Tara. You won't have to fake shit. And if you like to fake them during sex with um, your man, just eat a chip with some of that dip, a couple of them, and man, you'll go flying high. Um, I have chocolate. <laughs> um, am I Arabian? No, I don't believe so. Um, I think I'm more Spanish. I just learned. Um, yes. Yeah, so if you can't find uh, external, yes. <laughs> How many women just have external O's? <laughs> that says something. <laughs> that says we're taking care of ourselves more than anything else. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, um, anyhow, I'm just saying, if you're looking for a good O, um, men and there is a man um, that I told him that and he bought some and he went and bought the whole store up because it was he said those are amazing it's hot BJ <laughs> BJ um, what <laughs> <Fry Pro. laughs> I'm like didn't you just leave um, they can't fake it because you're 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 extinguishing the fire no matter what right so you have to do it. Like, we can fake it because we don't always, it's harder for us to come to the, you know, the gusto. I mean, I don't know. It's harder for me. Thank you, Christine. It's harder for me because um, my head's going, you know, every which way. However, when I'm eating, I'm one within myself. <laughs> it's the only thing I can focus on. I can focus when I'm gambling and when I'm eating food. <laughs> And giggle I don't it's it's really oh yeah oh the O dreams are really good I wake up and I feel you have faked it Wow Navajo oh that's okay I know people are rude it's fine that's you're right those those dream O's I wake up and I'm like whoo I feel ah, woo! I feel refreshed today why do I feel so good <laughs> and I'm like oh well, hey, how come those are different than what you experience with your partner? Why are those so much more like, you know, uh, what's the word? Um, freeing. I don't fake it. I don't fake it. I mean, no, I, I've never been a faker. I don't fake. Um, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't fake it. Explosive D. Yes, it's very explosive. And you know what's really weird 
is do you know your dreams don't expect you to do the laundry? That's true. <laughs> there is invigorating, I like that word. Spastastic. I think it was that. And you know what's really weird? That's your <laughs> you were supposed to, and then Fibro got caught in the, the and that's like the the mind. Your mind gave you that. That's how you have a bob. Most people do have a bob. Um, I, Dan was looking for a bob the other day. Not for him, but for me. Um, not how I went emotionally disconnected as well. We're just totally in our mind. Like you're dreaming and that's it. It's free of the mind. Um, by Slick. Um, I get it. Work. It's Friday. Don't get in trouble. Not how I play Buffalo. I put some... Um, Okay, bye, Mike. Thank you for joining. Um, I literally, um, I posted some videos while I was gambling last night before, you know, I lost it all. Um, and so they're on the Patreon. So if you have Patreon, watch me playing Buffalo. It was horrible. Oh, 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 I get it, Mike. Shit. I'm slow today. Uh, I'm slow today. Uh, yeah, it is or isn't. Sometimes, if. Like, why do I have to fake it? I don't need to fake it for my man to get off, right? Um, okay, so that's what's weird. There's no hands involved when the nighttime O comes by itself. Like, that's how crazy. We can literally Jedi mine, Jedi mine us to have one. Jedi mine. We can use Jedi, Jedi shit to our O to connect with that under, under underneath body. And we can just turn it on and be like, motherfucker, you owe right now. Why don't we do that every morning by ourselves? I mean, could you imagine how great we would feel? We'd probably be more youthful. <laughs> Less work. Uh, bye, Stacey. Have a good one. Jedi. Jedi mind tricks. That's what it is. Jedi mind tricks. Yes, we're not thinking about all the things, yeah, we have to do. Right? I'm like, Dan's like, hey, <laughs> yes, you can. You've never had an O in your dreams and woken up and be like, wow. I literally wake up from them because they're that powerful. And then I think to myself, celibate for seven years. And then you, I think to myself, wow, the fuck was that? Where did that come from? I like it. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm like, honey, I gotta go take a nap. <laughs> Jedi, Jedi Mantric, orgasm, now. <laughs> No, I wish it just happened. Oh, I'm sorry, Navajo. I wish it happened more frequently, right? Those come few and far between. And it's not even this, I, well, I don't know what's happening. I know these aren't to play. It's myself, you know? Um, I love that. Uh, yeah, can I just go back? Can we have a twofer? <laughs> can, ooh, once you realize, you're like, woo, that was great. Hurry up, maybe if I can just fall back asleep, it'll happen again. <laughs> I tried to be celibate um, every day, uh, but um, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> I only get maybe two celibacy days a week. Uh, we be. <laughs> I <can't remember. laughs> Hurry up, go back to bed. You know, when you wake up and go to the bathroom and you're in the middle of a good dream and you're like, I don't want to go back. I want to go back. <laughs> Yeah, there's some mornings I'm like, shit, that was great. Look over at Dan, like, was he touching me or anything? Oh, I just did that on my, by myself. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> I'm a badass. <laughs> oh, it's a beer. Hi, William. Oh, bravo. <laughs> Man, I'm good. It's really the best one I've ever had, right? 
I mean, if you think about it. <laughs> I want to do that again. <laughs> Ow, I just pulled my muscle. Um, oh, William, I went to the casino last night. So I'm tired. I drank, you know, more than my just two drinks. Um, and Dan didn't sleep. You're on the Blue Lobster. What's the name of it? That's why they're, is it a pop? Oh, I laugh at myself all the time, Cheryl. I, that's the thing. I laugh. I literally drive down the road. Oh, didn't go good, really. You should know that by now. Um, but I did have fun. But I didn't sleep. Um, because Dan didn't sleep. He had insomnia last night. And so, uh, oh, in the throes of UTI. That's fun. Take your celibacy and enjoy it. Um, you are Navajo? Well, I lost the Buffalo. So I posted some funny videos of me at, at, on the Patron, Patreon, sorry, um, of me playing Buffalo. Um, made in Nova Scotia. What is it? What's a blue lobster? Is it literally a toy? No, Dan did not go with me. I was going to go by myself. I was going to embrace, you know, my, my own internal, you know, freedom. Um, and then one of my TikTok friends met me. She came with me. Uh, Taylor, what is this? Is that what it is? A bop? That is not what it is. What is it? In the, is in the, in the lobster? Clint is gone. Happy birthday, Kels. Um, yeah, no. Um, Clint is gone. He comes back this Saturday. Um, I know she's being all super about the blue lobster. It's made in Nova Scotia. Um, yeah, um, so I'm gonna, I know, Tara's all making us, like, what? Yes, tell us. Tell me more, tell me more. Like, does it use deep batteries? Tell me more, tell me more, or see, or sees? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Rock the blue lobster. It's made in Nova Scotia. Ow! Goddamn, this thing. Meeting, it's a bucket list. It's a company. Oh, here she goes again, being all cryptic. I can't handle cryptic, Tara. I'm gonna block you. A burger and grape snow cone. Huh? Don't do that. Do they do those anymore? I think now I've heard that they're all um, USB operated, right? I mean, that's that's um, that's that's the new thing, right? Like nobody needs batteries anymore. You just plug it in. But y'all, can I? Um, I don't know. What is it, Tara? Ah! <laughs> oh, thank you, Debbie. We tonight is a. Um, a live night. I will definitely take a nap today so I can be energetic tonight for, you know, whatever we do. Uh, what are we talking about? Um, I don't know. We're trying to figure out what the blue lobster is. Batteries are more powerful. Oh, they are. I don't know. Batteries are so expensive. Remember back in the day when you had all these fun toys? I mean, some of you, yeah, call during my nap. Um, <laughs> Jay Tucker, stay longer. Uh, here we come. You're not seeing any of them. I don't see them all. No, fuck. Here, message me what the blue lobster is. I don't follow. Okay, I'm gonna follow you back. It must just keep trying. Cause is anybody seeing what Tara says the blue lobster is? It's a company made in Nova Scotia. We have that much. So just reply what it is. <laughs> Maybe you're getting blocked. <laughs> Nobody's saying what you're saying. Everybody's really curious. Even the YouTubers are like, well, what's a blue fucking lobster? Anybody Google it? Type in um, blue lobster from Nova Scotia. Um, Mike, I don't keep those toys around um, anymore. You never know who's going to find them. A dog. My friend had the funny story. You know, they had this pink one. Um, <laughs> I see you have no gray. Oh, I got tons, Caroline. I got tons. Blue lobster are a very rare thing, one in a million. What the fuck is a blue lobster? <laughs> no, I do. They're they're all here. Um, I just haven't dyed them. I'm not gonna. Sex is always the elephant in the room. We all have the same as crazy. Um, 
I, I don't, am I insecure about sex? Um, I, <laughs> I'm gonna block her ass. <laughs> I'm blocking you, Tara. Once again, I'm going back to blocking you. <laughs> uh, oh, Fibro, but they're always recorded on YouTube. So whenever you're bored, you can rewatch them. <laughs> uh, uh, Blue Lobster's a restaurant. But she said, I'm on the Blue Lobster. Oh. So what is she on? Like if she was eating at the Blue Lobster, right? She would say, I'm eating at the Blue Lobster, not on it. Oh, it's a pub house? <laughs> Greetings from Sacramento all the way to Denmark. Um, okay, bye, Tammy. We'll be on later um, if you're interested. If not, remember, everybody, just remember, we are always recorded here. That sells blue lobsters. <laughs> okay, so it's not a toy. <laughs> is she on a party cruise? See, that would be more like it. Like, she is on... The cruise and Halifax, 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 Halifax. I don't know. Um, so I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here playing with my hair and trying to figure out what the fuck a blue lobster is. Um, thank you, Thought from Saudi. Um, leg day, 30. Oh, shit, you beat me to it. I'm I'm hungover. I'm hungover. Um, not really. I'm not really hungover. I'm more tired than I am hungover. Although I did taste. Um, some vodka that I had. Um, why do you have a Patreon? Um, Crafty Girl, I'll tell you why. Because um, it takes a place of our um, X uh, website. There's additional content. There's um, pictures. It's more of a, um, a, 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 a more of a um, smaller venue where we could put more family members on um, without blasting them over, you know, to millions of people um, that they don't feel comfortable with. So it's a smaller platform. Um, and it's fun. Why not? It's fun. I uploaded videos last night while I was playing the casino games, um, just to keep y'all included, because I keep talking about the Buffalo. Um, so that's why I have it. So that's why not. And people who join it enjoy the additional, um, hi Casanova, how, how are you? Um, it's a more pleasant experience. What? The Patron? Patreon? Shit. There is a cost. It's $5. Um, $5 that Patreon charges. Yeah. They charge us for stuff. So how do you get the Magic Club house? Um, Patreon. It's an app. Um, so you have to um, download the app. And the link is in my bio. Oh, Blue also freaking sheets. I'm thinking so. Uh, they, oh, is it really blue? Dude. I'm tired, Casanova. I need a nap. And I have to do some trimming, and I have to get in the pool and swim a little bit. And it was cold yesterday. I was a little cold to get in the pool. What the frick? Um, there's, yes, there's always um, disrespectful people. And there's a lot of family members who don't want to be on big platforms because of that. Um, and so we try to do longer videos or the stuff that doesn't make it to TikTok or YouTube for various reasons, we put on there. And like I said, pictures, um, blasts from the past. Um, are you trying to send me a message? Did it not work? Um, thank you, Grady. You, you feel like you lost memory? Oh my God. All right, Nina, see you later. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna leave anyway, because I'm tired and I'm fading quickly. You do need to um, download the app for Patreon. Um, it's a, yeah, it's an app. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you look in my bio on here, it'll take you right directly to my link. Um, and I think it's Mr. and Mrs. D. Sal NorCal. That's where I'm located. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. D. Sal NorCal um, on there. Thanks, Didi. I'm always out here hungover, tired, or not. Um, and I did four miles today. I'm obviously not doing much of anything else while I'm talking to you. Um, and I know, can I get an O? Is this something you have to ask for? Um, so anyhow, I know, and I have not hit my head yet because my thing starts up. Uh, <laughs> Mike, it's fine. I'll see you. 
Um, hi, Aid, how are you? Um, okay, y'all, so um, love you. Thanks for the chatter. Thanks for um, the support. As always, remember, you matter. You are important. You are worthy. You're beautiful, handsome, and you're fucking amazing. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. See you tomorrow. Love y'all. Shalom.